concerns tonight about the safety of Congress members when they are gathered outside of the Capitol. That's after this morning's shooting that injured five people and killed one. The shooting took place in Alexandria, Virginia, as Republican lawmakers practice for tomorrow's congressional baseball game, an annual tradition during which Republicans and Democrats play against each other for charity. House Majority Whip Steve Scalis was shot in the hip and taken to the hospital. He's currently in critical condition. Congressional staffer Zach Barth and Tyson food lobbyist Matt Mika were also wounded, along with two Capitol Police officers, David Bailey and Crystal Greiner. All are expected to recover. Arizona Senator Jeff Flake and many other members of Congress were also on the scene. The shooter has been identified as 66-year-old James Hodgin Hodgkinson from Illinois. Hodgkinson died earlier today after being shot by Capitol officers at the scene. Our Washington team has been covering this tragic event all day. Cronkite News reporter Noelle Lilly was in Alexandria this morning. Noelle, what more can you tell us? So I was actually there live this morning when the shooting occurred in Alexandria, Virginia. I was headed back to my car to grab something from my vehicle when I heard the gunshots ring out behind me. Little did I and any of us know that what started off as a normal morning would soon turn into a federal investigation and a crime scene. And I hear the big blam, and I thought it was a car backfiring at first until I see the rifle barrel. Um, and a, a white male uh, taking careful aim at congressmen, staffers, whoever he could get a hold of. No one could have anticipated that a simple morning baseball practice would send five people to the hospital. But that's exactly what happened in Alexandria, Virginia today. Republican lawmakers were practicing for their annual congressional baseball game when a man opened fire on the field. 46-year-old David Woodruff was jogging around the neighborhood when shots were fired. This morning I uh, was coming down Monroe and actually happened to glance over and saw that there was a group of folks uh, playing baseball, which I thought was a little out of place for that early in the morning, but mm -hmm. didn't think much of it. Got about 10 more yards uh, down the road and then immediately heard about a dozen, dozen, 14 or so gunshots go off. Woodruff says shootings are unexpected for this neighborhood. A uh, pretty, uh, pretty uh, quiet part of the uh, part of Alexandria. You know, it's a family-friendly area. Capitol Police, who were at the scene when the shooting occurred, fired back at the suspect, and Alexandria Police arrived shortly after. Our units responded and were on scene within three minutes. The officers uh, were received fire from a suspect, and they returned fire. And that in part of the investigation is ongoing as we speak. Brown added that the investigation would be taken over by the FBI. At this point, the Alexandria Police Department, because this case involves the assault on a federal officer, the Federal Bureau of Investigation will be taking over the investigation. But despite the chaos that ensued, law enforcement officials said the community is safe. Have said this is a secure community at this point. Um, it's an active investigation. However, the security of the community is a paramount, and I want to reassure you that that's the case. The congressional baseball game is still scheduled to occur tomorrow at 7.05 p.m. at Nationals Park. For now, live in Washington, Noelle Lilly, Cronkite News.